So you still believe. Indirectly, by not showing your hands, you still believe that to achieve your goal, you don't need teachers. Imagine, you know why many, many people are not achieving their goals in their life, outside? Because they are living without teachers. Have you seen students without teachers? Go to that world, you will find it. You know, I have done four years of engineering. Four years of engineering, every year, first class. No etiquette. You will teach me. They will say that. I have done MBA. You know, full-time MBA. You will teach me. You will hear that. Ten years of experience I have. You will teach me. They will say that. A first speaker, if you have heard him clearly, he said 90% of people when they leave college, they live average life, they sit on a desk, and hardly a few people will do exception in their life. 90% people are doing average because they live without teachers. They live without teachers. The only way to achieve success. How many people want to be successful in their life? How many people want to achieve their goals in their life? The only way to achieve your goals in your life is that three simple steps. First, make your goal. What was the goal here? The goal was to have that tree. Make your goal. If you don't have any goal, forget it. To reach somewhere in your life, you have to know where to reach. Otherwise, how will you reach? Make your goal. Second, if you have a goal, identify teachers. Now, how to identify teachers? If you have goal, identify teachers and the easiest way to identify teachers, find people in your life who have done exactly what you want to do in your life. If you want to start an online business, find people who have started online this business and doing successful. If you want to start factories, set up factories, find people who have done, have factories. Find people who have already done what you want to do in your life. I'm not against your family and friends. I'm not saying that just confining yourself to family and friends is bad. But it doesn't mean that your family and friends could be a teacher. Not necessary. I know you love them. They love you. I know you respect them. They respect you. But it doesn't mean they could be a teacher. Teachers in that world are available in various forms. It's available in book. It's available in seminar. It's available in workshops like this. So if you are thinking, <laughs> if you are thinking that you guys will survive. You guys will survive there, but if you if you're thinking that you will become successful and achieve your goal in that world without teachers, you are thinking exactly about what I thought in 2011. I did the same mistake. Same mistake. If I had been there and someone else would have asked me this question, then I would have not raised that hand. In 2011, me and my wife, we had completed around 10 years of corporate job. And we were doing good in our life. I was senior marketing manager in multinational company, US-based multinational company. And she was a senior manager in top Indian pharma company. We were doing great, flying every month, four to five cities, staying in good hotels, good life, no liability. And one day I said, dear, oh, we have good experience now, we have good contacts now, we have some fun now. I have a business idea. I have a business idea. How many of you have businesses in their family? I think you have what you said. How many other have businesses in their family? Unfortunately, you guys are fortunate. Unfortunately, that time we didn't have anyone from both the sides. No one did business before. No one did business. We have no business background. But still, we started business. And we were in good position to start business. The 20 years of collective experience is good to start business. Fine, was well, okay. So we started business, and just, it took us just one year, just one year, to lose everything. To lose everything. We lost everything. When I say everything, I'm not talking about savings. I'm not talking about gold. I'm not talking about just mixer and refrigerator and sofa of my home. 
We lost everything. You know why? We have 20 years of experience. We will do it ourselves. We will do. We know. We know the tricks. We have handled our business exactly how he handled this mango seed. Confined ourselves with the knowledge available within us. Within one year, we shut the business. We started another business. But this time, what made the difference, you know? We finding, reaching out people, finding people who have already achieved the goal which we want to achieve. These are the people who are the real teachers in that world. People who have already achieved you. And then we understand the process from them. We surrendered ourselves, we worked as a student and learned. Within three years, we reached more than $10 million valuation. Within three years. Was that, was that process easy? No. Is that following that script easy? No. But you know, guys, it's so common sense. It's so common sense that if you are starting something, with the script written by someone who has already done it, there is high chances that you will achieve your success, you will achieve your goal. Don't you feel that? If someone is telling you this is how you have to achieve it, I have done it, these are the steps. If I follow that, there's high chances I will achieve that. And this exactly we have done it. Hmm. Three simple steps to achieve success in your life. Find your goal. Find your teachers. And if you worry that you will not find your teacher, how many people have this worry that they will not find their teachers? How many people? Be honest. Be honest. More honest. More honest. People to whom I went second year, you learn, were there even in the first year on this earth. They were there. Teachers are ready, students are not ready. Teachers are ready, successful people are there in that world, always ready to share, teach. Teachers are ready. Students are not ready. You will become your own teacher once you live. And if you become your own teacher, just imagine a school without student, that's it. Imagine a student without teacher. That's it. Imagine that what condition that student will be. So the first lesson from the first story. If you want to be successful in your life, if you want to achieve your goal, whatever goal you have, whatever, be the student throughout your life, even after college. 